Hey everybody, Susan Mershon here, The Techie Mentor. Just a big thank you for listening to this podcast, the Virtual Assistant Tips, Tricks, and Advice channel where I share all things Virtual Assistant every week with no fluff, just the stuff that gets results. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode. Today's topic is how often do you review the services that you're offering and your rates. So what I recommend is at least twice a year is you stop and take stock of the services that you're offering and the rates that you're charging for those. Why? Because your business is going to evolve and change along with you and if you don't stop and do what I would call a skills and rates inventory, you may miss opportunities to quit offering services that you no longer enjoy, plus adjust your rates accordingly because chances are that you may not have changed your rates since you actually started offering a said service. And now you have more depth of knowledge and experience and your rates should reflect that. So let's start with services so what i'd like you to do if you haven't looked at the services that you're offering um, in quite a while so i say at least twice a year take a moment to do just a quick skills inventory right what do you look what are you offering right now Um, let's say you're doing wordpress maybe you're doing some copywriting maybe you're doing some admin skills what i want you to do is ask yourself do you enjoy doing this service? Is this something that lights you up, that you're passionate about? Or is it something that you dread or you no longer enjoy? And this is going to give you the answer to do I want to offer this or not? Because remember at the end of the day it's your business, your choice. Please don't offer things you don't enjoy doing. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Right? Only offer the things that light you up. So you have to give yourself permission to cut off anything you no longer want to offer. Even though it's a revenue stream, at the end of the day, if you dread it, you're probably not doing your best work. So why offer it in the first place? Replace it with something else that you love. Remember, it's not a, um, a numbers game here. In other words, you don't have to offer everything to make money. People who are specialists maybe offer one or two things and do very well because they're looked at as an expert. So just because you have a ton of services doesn't mean that you should offer all of them, okay? So take a second, take stock, ask yourself the question, do I still like this service? Do I still enjoy doing this type of work? If you don't, give yourself permission to phase it out. That doesn't mean you have to just cut it off. You can um, put a plan in place that says you're going to phase it out over the next 60 days and just don't take any new clients on for that particular service and then you can phase out your other clients over time. You can find other people for them to move to if they you know, want to keep using that service. Okay. The second thing is have you learned anything new when it comes to skills? Have you learned something new? Have you been taking classes? Maybe it's time to add to your list of services, right? No issue there. You can do that at any time, just like you can do this at any time. You can trim services, you can add services anytime you want to. And you don't owe anybody an explanation. It's your business, your choice. You don't work for these people. This is your business, you make the decisions. It's just about communicating those decisions to your existing clients. So that's services, so take a minute, and do that exercise and see what you come up with. And then just give yourself permission to follow your heart, whatever that is. Come up with a plan. If you decide not to offer a specific service, how are you gonna phase it out over the next 60 to 90 days? And then just make the decision not to take any new clients for that particular service. And that way you don't have to worry about that, okay? This is where referral partners come in really well because you can simply move your clients for that particular service that you're going to not offer to somebody else, preferably a referral partner. Okay, now let's talk rates. Maybe you started offering your WordPress design packages um, six months ago. Have you revisited the rates that you're charging? Have you done a rate change on that? Here's the thing, as you offer new services and you get more depth of knowledge, more experience, your rates should reflect that. So maybe it's time to change your rates. Charge more because you have more experience and more knowledge than someone who's just starting out. And you want to do that at least twice a year. 
make sure that you're reflecting changes not only your services but the rates that you're offering because you're going to build a depth of knowledge you're going to have more experience and last but not least remember that your rates attract your clients there's something called perceived value which means some people will not pay the cheapest thing out there they're looking for the most expensive thing because they're professionals and they want to hire a professional so my question to you is when was the last time you adjusted your rates when was the last time you looked at your rates and actually change them accordingly to the experience and the depth of knowledge that you have now I challenge you if you haven't to take a moment to look at that and then adjust accordingly now I know rates are one of those things that can scare you <laughs> I get it but when it comes to rates you want to make sure that you are charging what you're worth and if you're having issues with that, that is a mindset thing that you really need to look at because there are clients that will pay whatever rates you want to charge. It's just a matter of finding them. Remember, there are business coaches that charge $100 an hour. There are business coaches that charge $100,000 an hour and they both have clients, right? So usually it's just a mindset thing. So to recap, the goal for this podcast, this episode, is to have you take a look at the services that you're offering and either add new things or trim things you no longer want to do and then look at your your rates to see if they need adjusting based on more experience and knowledge that you have now that you've been offering that service for a while. Right, so hopefully you found value in this episode. Thank you for being a listener. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for listening.